most citizens feel pretty hopeless, I think, and, and unable to, to fight back against these kind of huge mainstream corporations that simply entrench and support the, the ideals and ideologies of the state. It can, it can seem very hopeless indeed, but I think, you know, the fact that... No, don't get up. I need a high-ranking SIRS officer's biometrics, eyes and fingers. What the hell are you... We don't have time for this. Keep your voice down. The data was encrypted. So what? Bagley can brute force it. Not faster than I could, and I've tried. It's hopeless in the time we have. Look, if you don't help me, Zero Day wins. Which means we all die. Fuck me. You need the actual appendages? No. High-res photos will do. The problem is it has to be the acting Home Office liaison. And SIRs will burn their credentials if they're attacked. It's protocol. So you'll have to get them the old-fashioned way. Torture them? Christ, no. Develop a relationship. Get someone close and uh, take the photos covertly. All right. I've done worse. This part of the craft can be... ugly. Send someone who can handle it. Bagley, some assistance, please. I suggest you begin your relationship with the SIRS Home Office liaison the way you would with anyone, by meticulously poring over every detail of their life and hunting them down. Go on. The SIRS Home Office Liaison is the bridge between the government and its intelligence service. Their office at Downing Street would be a good place to start your relationship. Fairly obvious what to do then. I need your vehicle! This is London Calling. You're listening to me, Tash, on Buccaneer, your source for what they don't want you to know. This time, we're turning our focus back on the media to look at my former employer, the GBB. As we know, the broadcaster has been through a lot of changes since the Hassani government gave in to pressure from its corporate backers and privatised the corporation. The SIRS Home Office liaison works here, but I'm not seeing them on any unsecured surveillance. Ah, but their assistants here. Start by hacking them. All right. Mode complete. Now Scarper or they'll kill you for sure.
got it. 16 email threads indicate the Home Office liaison is a right lush. She spends most of her time down at the Three Hawker Boys. If you want to seduce, sorry, start a relationship with her, that's as good a place as any. Send the coordinates to my optic. Done. I'll take the rail. This is London Calling. You're listening to me, Tash, on Buccaneer. Your source for what they don't want you to know. This time we're turning our focus back on the media to look at my former employer, the GBB. As we know, the broadcaster has been through a lot of changes since the Hassani government gave in to pressure from his corporate backers and privatised the corporation. Today, the GBB is a shadow of its former self. It's become a tool used by the government to circulate fake news and misinformation. So how do we get here? Where did it all go wrong? How can we tell when our national media is state propaganda? Our experts speak on conditions of anonymity for their own safety. Here's disinformation and media expert Charles, who's seen free broadcasters built up by journalists and torn down by demagogues all over the world. So before the media fragmented, there was this voice of authority that was trusted and worthy of trust. Then what we ended up with is a really commercial model where whether you're talking about an app on a smart device or whether you're talking about a broadcaster, the most important thing was to keep you in that environment for the longest amount of time possible. Uh, and because that meant money in their pocket. And in order to do that, a couple of things happened. One was the use of manipulative techniques around behavioral economics, things that would just keep you scrolling, keep you listening, keep you looking for more information. The second is that that kind of environment favors sensationalism. And so we got more sensational headlines and more sensational stories and it didn't matter for them. It just kept it in a I find your face generally appealing. Is that good for you? Ooh, if that's how you treat a one-liner, I shudder to think of what you do with two. Goodbye. Having a bad day, are we? Have a drink. That helps. Oh, I'm in a great mood, actually. It's just that I'm wasting my scant leisure time fending off the advances of a haggard swamp creature. Fuck you! Not even in your wildest dreams, sweetie. I'm still learning the nuances of human interaction, but my analysis indicates that you aren't her type. Yes, very astute, Bagley. Quit your whining. There's plenty of fish in the sea, and we've got the biggest saltwater aquarium in town. At least one of our fish is bound to be fuckable. Go on. Just try someone else. Maybe a man this time. I hope you're not doing anything important. You've been activated. No problem. I just can't hand this right now. Oh, people are just trying my patience. Will you relax a second? Hello. Strange question, but did we match on invite recently? If we didn't. I'm going to have their CEO killed. And not so fast. I made that up. Ah, uh, careful who you fib to. Someone almost died. Now that would have been unfortunate. I should say. Shall we move this conversation somewhere a bit more... private?
my. Didn't know you could do that. What other secrets are you hiding? Stick with me, and you might find out. <laughs> So after all that, did you acquire the biometric data? Y yeah, I got it. Though if I'm being honest, all the lying and sneaking about takes some of the fun off the random shag. Bloody brilliant. What now? It seems you'll have to maintain the ruse a bit longer. The upload is still going and I have an incoming connection from the liaison. All right, put her through. Enough crap. Who the hell are you? You working for the Russians? China? Fucking America? Wait, you think I'm a spy? <laughs> You're wrong, but honestly, I'm a bit chuffed. Oh, do shut up. No, I'm so sorry. Upload complete. Malik is on the line. I'm sure he'll be very grateful and polite. This will have to do. We can meet at Westminster Abbey to discuss the results. And I wanted to say... You performed somewhat better than anticipated. Well, sir, you flatter me. He's disconnected. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs>